Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. R. Bud Dwyer. Robert Bud Dwyer was an American politician in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. He served from 1971 to 1981 as a Republican member of the Pennsylvania State Senate representing the state's 50th district. He served as the 30th Treasurer of Pennsylvania from January 20, 1981, until his death. On that day, Dwyer called a news conference in the Pennsylvania state capital of Harrisburg, where he killed himself in front of the gathered reporters with a 357 Magnum revolver. Dwyer's suicide was broadcast later that day to a wide television audience across Pennsylvania. In the early 1980s, Pennsylvania discovered its state workers had overpaid federal taxes due to errors in state withholding. Many accounting firms competed for a multi-million dollar contract to determine compensation to each employee. In 1986 Dwyer was convicted of receiving a bribe from the California firm that ultimately won the contract. He was scheduled to be sentenced on those charges on January 23, 1987, the day after his suicide. Throughout Dwyer's trial and after his conviction, he maintained that he was innocent of the charges levied against him, and that he had been framed. Decades later, it was reported that the prosecution's primary witness, William T. Smith, whose testimony was largely used to obtain Dwyer's conviction, admitted in a documentary about Dwyer that he had lied under oath about Dwyer taking a bribe in order to receive a reduced sentence. In fact, Smith acknowledges, as he did at Dwyer's trial, that he had lied in his own earlier trial when he testified that he had not offered Dwyer a bribe. He admitted that he testified against Dwyer in hopes of receiving a reduced sentence and to spare his wife from being prosecuted for her role in the conspiracy, and expressed his regret for that decision and the role it played in Dwyer's death. Career Dwyer graduated from Allegheny College in Meadville, Pennsylvania, where he was a member of the Beta Chi chapter of Theta Chi fraternity. After earning a master's degree in education, he taught social studies and coached football at Cambridge Springs High School. A Republican, Dwyer became active in politics. He was elected to the Pennsylvania House of Representatives from the 6th District in 1964 and was re-elected in 1966 and 1968. In 1970, while still a sitting state representative, Dwyer ran for a seat in the Pennsylvania State Senate from its 50th district and won. Shortly after his victory he resigned his seat in the State House and was sworn in as senator in January 1971, after being elected to additional terms in 1974. In 1978, Dwyer decided to try for a state office and in 1980 ran for and won the office of Pennsylvania Treasurer that had been held by Robert E. Casey since 1976. He ran for a second and last term in 1984 and won re-election to the seat. Bribery Investigation and Conviction during the early 1980s, public employees of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania overpaid millions of dollars in federal insurance contributions act taxes. As a result, the state solicited bids from accounting firms to determine refunds for its employees. The contract was eventually awarded to Computer Technology Associates, a California-based firm owned by John Torquato, Jr., a native of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Later Pennsylvania Governor Dick Thornborough received an anonymous memo detailing allegations of bribery that took place during the bidding process for the $4.6 million contract. An investigation was undertaken by federal prosecutors. Dwyer was charged with agreeing 
to receive kickbacks worth $300,000 in return for using his office to steer the contract toward CTA. The U.S. attorney also indicted Torquato. Torquato's attorney William T. Smith, Smith's wife, and Bob Asher, the former Republican Party chairman for the state of Pennsylvania. In return for lighter sentences, Torquato and the Smiths pleaded guilty and testified on behalf of the federal government against Dwyer and Asher. Dwyer denied any wrongdoing. Federal prosecutors offered him a single charge of bribe receiving resignation from his office as treasurer of Pennsylvania in full cooperation with the government's investigation, but he refused. Instead, Dwyer went to full trial. However, his defense was curtailed by the prosecution because the case was limited to only those who had been charged. The names of the unindicted co-conspirators who were linked in the bribery scandal but were not on trial were withheld. These unnamed individuals were believed to have been staff members of the Dauphin County Republican Party. On December 18, 1986, Dwyer was found guilty on 11 counts of conspiracy, mail fraud, perjury, and interstate transportation in aid of racketeering, and consequently faced a sentence of up to 55 years imprisonment and a $300,000 fine. His sentencing was scheduled for January 23, 1987, to be performed by U.S. District Court Judge Malcolm Muir. Bob Asher, Dwyer's co-defendant, was sentenced to one year in jail. He later returned to politics and served as a Republican National Committee man for Pennsylvania. Dwyer's status as state treasurer Pennsylvania law stated that Dwyer could not officially be removed from office until his sentencing in January. Given this, Dwyer stated that until his legal appeal was resolved, he would stay on as treasurer under leave of absence without pay. In the interim, the Treasury Department would be run by Deputy Treasurer Donald L. Johnson. Dwyer continued to profess his innocence after being convicted, as did others close to him. On December 23, he wrote a letter to President Ronald Reagan seeking a presidential pardon, and to Senator Arlen Specter seeking support in this effort. The week of Dwyer's sentencing, Pennsylvania State Attorney General Leroy Zimmerman and state prosecutors were investigating a provision of the Pennsylvania State Constitution, where removal of a civil worker from office who has been convicted of a crime is self-executing, thus automatic upon that person's sentencing. A decision confirming this constitutional point was expected on January 22, the day before Dwyer's sentencing hearing. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.